Hello students, we are discussing about chemistry in everyday life. We, we are discussing about medicinal chemistry and then we discussed about food preservatives and then we discussed about cleansing agent. Now moving to polymers. <coughs> what do you mean by polymers? In sense, preparation of polymers by means of monomers is called as polymerization. There are various kinds of polymerization, addition polymerization, condensation polymerization and these polymers are of great importance to the mankind. Very important commercial products are prepared by means of this polymerization reaction, say punis, vinyl kind of rubbers, also neoprene terrine, decron or terrine all just the same so preparing these polymers by means of polymerization in this session we will discuss about preparation of decron otherwise called as terrine otherwise called as terrine ok uh, terrine how shall we prepare terrine in sense by ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid. Terephthalic acid can also be called as dimethyl terephthalate. Okay, so we are discussing about terylene, which is a condensation polymer. What do you mean by condensation polymer? In sense, a polymer which is being prepared by two or more components, two or more monomers, and at the end of the reaction, when a water molecule is released, then the pro then the reaction is said to be a condensation polymerization. This is a product of condensation polymerization where one of the monomer is ethylene glycol, the other one is terephthalic acid. The formula for terephthalic acid is benzene and COOH at two ends of the benzene that we call as terephthalic acid. What do you mean by ethylene glycol? Two carbon atom and OH group attached to two carbon atom we call it as glycol otherwise called as ethane 1 2 diol this is methane ethane and alcohol groups at the both the carbon atoms so ethane 1 2 diol so how shall we prepare this terrain in sense n times of why do you mean what do you mean by n times in sense polymerization reaction requires n number of reactants not just one or two n number of reactants are required so n number of ethane 1 2 diol is taken n number of Terephthalic acid is taken. So what happens? Listen very carefully. This H and this OH combines together to form water molecule. Similarly, this H and this OH combines together to form a water molecule. So what else is remaining? O, CH2, CH2, O, C double bond O, benzene, C double bond O is remaining. That is written once again and that is written in a bracket and n number of times that is written which is considered to be the repeating portion of the terylene and along with that you get water molecule how much water molecule is released in sense this is one water molecule this is another water molecule this is n number of times in sense two n water molecules is released but at the initiation part one h remains as it is and at the termination part one OH remains as it is which means it is not 2N water molecule 2N minus 1 water molecule is released this is how we prepare terrain in that particular reaction the temperature required is around 500 Kelvin zinc acetate and antimony trioxide Sb2O3 is used as a catalyst we shall write and see this reaction for one more time now Okay, let me write uh, glycol CH2 CH2 OH on both the ends is called as ethylene glycol. This we are taking for n number of times, and along with that, we are taking terephthalic acid. So, what is terephthalic acid? As I said before, we need to have a benzene ring, and at one end, we will have yeah, acid group that is benzoic acid now and to another end also we are adding a acid group this is otherwise called as terephthalic acid t e r e p h t h a l i c terephthalic 
acid you are taking it for n number of times so what happens this OH combines with this H similarly this H combines with this OH so what else is remaining so O CH2 CH2 O C double bond O a benzene ring and then again a C double bond O is what is remaining this is for n number of times so how many water molecules will be released out in sense 2n water molecule is supposed to release but at the initiation part there will, be, there will be one hydrogen at the termination part there will be one OH molecule remaining in sense then it is not 2n water molecule it is supposed to be 2n minus 1 water molecule so this is otherwise called as sterylene or decron otherwise called as even terene hope you all enjoyed the class today try and practice this reaction we will meet up with another important reaction in the next class. Thank you.